come along with me as I meal prep for this week. I'm going to be busy working and with my babies. I'm prepping everything on Sunday. Everything is gluten-free, dairy-free. We are going to Home Depot and then to the grocery store. We gotta get moving because I am planning to prep two chickens, like whole chickens, muffins, and some green smoothies for the week. See if we can do it. It's two o'clock. Baby goes to bed at 7.30. We got the grocery list all written out. Papa chica, you bitsy chica. We are having a quick milk break before we go into Costco. We are going all out with the whole chickens. What do you think, baby? And someone pooped their pants. We got this huge shed at Home Depot and these strangers helped us fit it in the car. Okay, it's 4.30. I'm going to unload these and we gotta get to work fast. I spent $211 on this small amount of groceries and I know that sounds crazy, but first of all, we live on an island. Everything's more expensive. And second of all, organic is really important to me. I know that whatever I'm putting in my body is feeding both me and my baby and it's literally making up my DNA. So for me, health is everything and eating healthy is where it begins. I hate having old food in my fridge. So whenever I buy new groceries, I always have to clean out my fridge. I'm gonna be making some ghee. So I'm taking out my butter. Ghee is basically clarified butter. It's separating out the milk salt which usually are what hurt your tummy if you can't have dairy. I use this on everything. I'm gonna start by prepping my first chicken. I don't know if I'll be able to get both done today, but here I am rinsing my chicken. And don't worry, I'm gonna thoroughly clean my sink after this. I'm adding two and a half cups of chicken broth and the rest I'm adding water, about two more cups. My ghee is cooking on low. My celeries are big, so I'm gonna use about three of these and about five garlic cloves. I use one onion. I'm skimming off the top layers of my ghee until I start to see a clear layer underneath being revealed. I keep skimming until it's clear like this. These are the milk solids and then I pour it into a mason jar. This is how it will look after it's done cooling. I think I cooked a little too much, but it'll still be fine. I'm adding my five garlic cloves and my celery. And finally, a bunch of cilantro chopped up. No, 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 no. Adding in about three teaspoons of salt for taste and mix it all up, seal it, and put it on the soup setting for 25 minutes. I always get hungry while I'm cooking, so I'm having some manchego cheese. Next, I'm gonna start prepping my rice. My husband could eat rice 24 seven, so I really mastered it at this point. I am using one and a half cups of rice and three cups of water. Usually you double how much water for whatever amount of rice you put. And I always put some ghee and salt. Now that we have our rice cooking, let's get started on the banana muffins. So these are gonna be gluten-free, dairy-free. We're using bananas from our yard. But as I start preparing all my ingredients, I realized that I need the blender. So I decided to do the green smoothies first because the muffins have eggs and I don't wanna contaminate my blender. This is my absolute favorite green smoothie. So I use pineapple, kale, some greens powder, coconut milk, and some protein powder. So I'm adding my greens from Paleo Valley and also my bone broth protein from Paleo Valley. These are my favorite things to add because I don't get enough greens. I also added about two little bananas and it just gives the perfect sweetness between the pineapple and the banana. And I usually freeze these in the freezer and I thaw them out like the night before I'm gonna use them. I never tie my rice, but it looks pretty good to me. I'm mixing it up to see the texture and I'm taking it off the heat. The key to amazing rice is letting it cool with the lid off. I preheat my oven to 350 and I get started adding the flaxseed meal, the cassava flour. I didn't show some of the dry ingredients, so I wrote them out on the screen for you guys. I then add a third cup of coconut milk, three small bananas, and all my wet ingredients, including some avocado oil, maple syrup, egg, and vanilla extract to my blender. Then I blend it all up. I made a last minute decision to add a scoop of protein powder because as a breastfeeding mom, you can never have enough protein.
basically my camera died here but i took out my chicken and i asked my husband to help me shred it while i put all my prepped veggies into the crock pot again for a couple more minutes on the soup setting and then you just put the shredded chicken back in with the veggies and the broth and everything's ready what do you think mm. healthy and delicious this is gonna make me poop well that is a wrap i was able to get a whole chicken cooked felix helped me peel it and I still have some chicken left, so I'm thinking to make some pasta with it later this week. I didn't get everything done that I wanted to, but I got a lot done. We have a soup, we have rice, we have ghee, we have muffins, and we have a green smoothie. We're all happy with what we got done. And you bought an organic turkey. And I have some organic turkey slices in the fridge. Which is rare. <laughs> Which is rare here in Puerto Rico. Oh, I just need to clean up. The baby's sleeping. Things are going according to plan. Thank God. And now we're going to be planning the auction tomorrow. And now I'm going to do about an hour of work and then hit the hay so I can get some rest. Oh, and then now... I'm in the background. And that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, let me know in the comments. Comment your favorite soup. And comment your favorite thing to meal prep because I need some ideas. <laughs> or your favorite soup. <laughs> See you guys next time. I want to know your favorite soup. Felix wants to know your favorite soup. Mm. Bye.